Hello, I'm Dave Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Taylor police are searching for a shooting suspect they believe is armed and dangerous. This is 21 year old Walter Clyde Hollinsworth. He's a white male, about six feet, two inches tall, weighs 175 pounds. Police say Hollinsworth shot another man in the stomach on Dean Street yesterday. The 20 year old victim is expected to survive. If you see Hollinsworth, call police immediately by dialing 911 or the number you see here on your screen. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your seven first alert forecast. The storms are over as we head into the weekend, but a lot of cleanup, especially around Ann Arbor through southern sections and western sections of Oakland County. That stretch uh, the toughest with a lot of tree damage, some hail as well, and power outages. It's a calmer weekend. Saturday, bright sun, only a few clouds, 77. A very slight chance for a shower on Sunday. Looks like East Lansing, fantastic football weather, pretty good football weather on Sunday for the Lions. Michigan's not playing this weekend. Next week, warm and dry. All right, Dave, thanks. Nine passengers are safe after the plane they were in crashed landed in Charlevoix. Michigan State Police are working with the FAA to determine what happened. The plane was flying in from Beaver Island, attempting to land at Charlevoix Municipal Airport when it crashed. Investigators are looking at a possible problem with the landing gear. Macomb County law enforcement is on the lookout for a naked nuisance. A man wearing nothing but a pair of red boots was seen in Utica and then Shelby Township. Police in both communities have not been able to track the man down. They say they're checking surveillance video at nearby businesses in hopes of finding him and identifying him. If you saw the man, call police. And the last uh, anchor store at the mall at Partridge Creek has closed in Clinton Township, Nordstrom. Ringing up its last sales uh, yesterday, then closed its doors for good at that location. The other anchor store, Carson's, closed at Partridge Creek last year. And just down the street at Lakeside, Lord & Taylor says it also will close. Those are your headlines. Remember, go to WXYZ.com and our app for news anytime. Have a great day.